Hi, my name is Christopher David Mitchell. I'm a coach and I've been quiet on YouTube. I haven't posted a video in over two months. That's very unlike me. So I wanted to come on today and be authentic with you and share with you exactly why I've taken a little break from YouTube and what my plans are for the future. So what exactly has been going on in my life for me to take this break? Well, there's hopefully going to be some insights for you here as well. So um, many of you probably know that I was a vocal coach for like five years or something. Um, uh, and that whole chapter of my life, vocal coaching, basically came to an end when I actually put out that health video, my survival story living with an ileostomy bag, because then I was fully into a new, more authentic self, authentic me. And then, you know, once you redo your values from there or life purpose mission, it changes, it evolves, especially when you uncover more of your true self. And I sort of foolishly thought, well, I'll just go straight into life coaching. And, and I have been doing some of that, don't get me wrong. But um, this is in the context of A, the trauma I'd been through through hospital and B, like several years of very, very solid working. And basically, I was starting to just do project again after project after work project and the motivation was going. Uh, and so I was starting to question that. And how I describe it now is the motivation that I was using before to build the uh, coaching business was no longer serving me. So it's that lesson of what you used before to get you to where you were is maybe not going to get you to the next place you want to be in your life. So I want to give you the exact example here that relates to my sort of trauma that I went through through the health journey and being in hospital. So I spent four years in and out of hospital from 2013 to 2017 and at that point I was very much on the extreme end of one pendulum here where I wasn't working, I wasn't getting any success, I wasn't having any sex, I wasn't you know having many friendships, I was just ill and surviving basically and you know seeing everyone around me getting on with their lives and doing well. So I was basically held back on the sidelines of life. Now, what happens after that? Well, I came blasting out the blocks in 2017 and, you know, in a very other end of the pendulum where then I was sort of just working a lot and felt very, um, very driven and very motivated and that was great and I got a lot done. But it's only recently that motivation and that energy has waned and it's not served me anymore. So when I did the health video, that was like the end of that whole chapter where it was like, ah, I don't need to, I don't need to keep sprinting here. I don't need to play catch up. I don't need to prove anything. So basically I'll call this trauma energy um, where I was in hospital, I was out of action and then the pendulum swung when I was healthy again to the other end of the extreme. And I was working all the time and really focused and really incredibly driven. And now it's like I've taken the break. I've sort of dissected all these different motivations and now finding more of a balance. So basically what I've been doing in a nutshell is I've been refinding balance in my life because the last several years I've been in this like, you know, this very driven state that was due to the time I had in hospital. And that's okay. Like, I feel like that's how it's meant to be. I don't think anyone's gonna come from this state of being so in adversity and in such a traumatic time. And then they come out of hospital and everything they've gone through and they go to a beautifully balanced mode in life. You know, that's not how it's gonna work, is it? It's gonna go from one extreme, then it's gonna go over to the other side and then eventually you'll find balance from there. So. I think it's like a normal necessary step that I needed to take. So what have I been doing then? Well, I've been on this path of rebalancing. I've been um, exploring the aspects of life that I didn't do because I was in such a laser driven focus mode when I came out of hospital for several years, but I wasn't living a well-rounded balanced life. Now this is not to say that life has always got to be in a perfect balance, no, but you still uh, we are humans with human needs and, you know, just focusing on work, 
that's going to lead to some issues. And even if it doesn't lead to issues, um, which it will, you've got to think, do I really want that? Do I really just want to be working project after project after project in life? Or should I make time for more friends? Should I go on more dates? Should I consider getting a girlfriend? Should I consider uh, traveling more? Could, should I consider taking up a new hobby? Should I consider going back to something like golf that I did as a kid? And of course, all these things are things that I have been doing with my time in the last couple of months. Rebalancing myself here to more of a well-rounded, hopefully, human being so that then I go forward in a more positive, beautiful way where I want to do the work projects, which I will, so don't go anywhere, subscribers, but it will be coming from a more beautiful place where I'm moving towards the work that I want to do and I have other things going on in my life rather than from a more, I'll call it trauma energy place where I'm moving away from all the negativity of the trauma I'm getting out of hospital and I'm so laser focused to be determined to get my life back, to prove to myself that I could get my life back. Well, I've done that now. I don't need to prove anything anymore to myself or to anyone else. So now is the time where I've taken a step back, I've let go of a bit of that trauma energy that was beautiful, it worked. It got me booked out with clients, you know, 19 clients a week and doing online courses and coaching Boy George, like it worked, it works. The energy that you get from a difficult time, but at some point you wanna let that go and give you a bit more self-love on the journey and allow yourself to explore all the other aspects of life, to be a more well-rounded human being. And I think of it like a song, like I say, that even if you do the business thing well, that's one aspect of life. But if you are holistic and whole as a human being, it's like a song that has multiple instruments. You know, one instrument is the friendships, one instrument is the relationships. And that makes a more beautiful song rather than just playing the same instrument of career. You know, it's this realization that I wanted more balance in my life and that it was actually counterintuitively going to make the work better as well in the long run. So I hope that explains the process there. But like I say, I'm writing about this in a book at the moment and it's normal. It's to be expected. You know, it's in the context of everything I went through. And to get yourself through a time like that in hospital, to get you walking again, or through the disappointment of having an ileostomy bag for life, the, the mind will, you know, create stories of like, you know, I, I've got to get back on track. I've got to prove that and get my life back again. It's a bit like a race. I was held back at the sidelines for four years. So of course, I'm not going to go out jogging in a beautiful, balanced way. I'm going to be running like mad on catch up because I've been on the sidelines for four years when I was with, uh, the, in the hospital. So I think it's a really natural progression and something that I'm writing about in my book. Um, so that's really what's been happening as well as I've been tying up loose ends from the last chapter of my life, which was all the singing and the vocal coaching and the recording studio, ready to fully then take a break um, fully think about, you know, what is my motiva motivation going forward? And, you know, what do I really want out of life? Taking time to reflect basically before I go forward fully in this next chapter. I could say more. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do a separate video where I'm going to talk about my top like I don't know, five or top 10 lessons that I learned throughout like the last several years of my life as I was doing this change, as I was doing this transition, because hopefully that'll be helpful and I'll dig into some of these things more that I really learned through this time. But I'll just end on this note that life is seasonal. So yes, I've not been in full motivation, killing it with my work more recently, but again, to be expected and perfectly normal. So if you're going through a time where you don't feel as motivated, well, guess what? Like that's normal. We're not motivated all the time. We're not passionate all the time about stuff. And we're constantly evolving and we're constantly rebalancing our life 
and we're constantly reassessing where we're at with our values, with our strengths, with our life purpose, and that's okay. And if you have to take months or even years off, that's okay. And I had to remind myself before I start this next chapter fully with the, with the life coaching that before I was successful with the vocal coaching, I was still took a whole year to slowly get myself together to cope with, you know, what was happening. Because before that, I was dealing with the change of being identified as an actual singer. So it went from like being identified as a singer, then I had the health thing, then being identified as a vocal coach, and then going into this new chapter. So it's very normal that you're gonna to have to take time out. So the point here is life is seasonal. It's not a never ending summer where everything's going amazing. No, there is a time for a winter when like I've been doing recently, you rest a bit, you reflect on thoughts, you reflect on went what went right and what went wrong in the previous years of your life. You really reflect and reassess where you're at and where you want to be in life again. And also you let go of things like I was doing where I was like, am I really motivated in a positive, positive beautiful way? Or am I being motivated from still holding on to a bit of that trauma that happened in hospital? But those are all the exact, that's the exact place you should be. That's the exact lessons that you need to cultivate in order to get better and improve. And it's perfectly normal. You know, life has the ups and downs and it comes around in these cycles. And, you know, you should just embrace that and uh, think of your life in, a, in that seasonal way. Um, but yes, I hope this has helped and it's been nice to check in and I feel better about it already because um, I, I really appreciate that I've got some subscribers here and you guys are great and I know I've been quiet and I felt bad about it, but I just needed to regroup, protect my energy and just, um, you know, refine myself before I go on the next journey as life is just always full of journeys after journeys after journeys. The infinite game, as Simon Sinek says. Okay, take care for now and I'll see you soon. <laughs>